Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has once again um, rolled out a Microsoft Defender update for Windows operating system installation images, which they do on a regular basis, which I think is a nice move. So basically they are updating the Defender definitions to protect against ISO file malware. Now, the reason they do this is because the OS installation images can contain outdated anti-malware software definitions. So uh, because of this, the first hours of a newly installed Windows installation can leave the system vulnerable because of a Microsoft Defender, um, what we call a so-called protection gap. So because of this, Microsoft updates the um, Defender um, against ISO file malware and updates those definitions on a regular basis, which I think is a nice move, just closing that protection gap. Now, if we head over to the change log, yeah, we can see that the ISO images have been updated for Defender for Windows 11, Windows 10, Enterprise Pro and Home Editions, Windows Server 2022, 2019 and 2016. And here is the Defender package version and the actual security intelligence version, which is the important bit. Now, just something to take note of that this security intelligence version was released with the October 2024 Patch Tuesday updates. So this is give or take just under a month old already. But nonetheless, um, even though it is short of a month old, it does close that protection gap when they update these um, ISO images on a regular basis with more um, security intelligence updates. Because if we head back to um, my Windows Security uh, Microsoft Defender and we have a look at the protection updates that I currently have that were updated on the 2nd of December which was today in my part of the world we are sitting on 1.421 where these are 1.419 so a bit of a month old give or take but I still think it's a step in the right direction um, just closing that protection gap. It's better than having it six months old, as an example. Rather have it a month or so old than six months because it can protect you from initial threats when inst installing a new version of Windows. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.